Hello, 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 it's Fiona Robertson here and I'm here to talk to you about what's next. Who are you creating in the next phase of your life? One of the things I've come to know is the physical consequences of whether you're having fun <laughs> or misery in your life. Did you know that there are huge physical consequences to just having like five minutes of fun? I mean, kind of like dancing around the room or playing music or playing on the floor and doing all sorts of wild, wild things. These moments, they're enough to start creating you on a molecular and a chemical and a cellular structure. And I just wanted to share some of those like massive, massive physical consequences that you can start putting into your life every single day. And that's why it's all to do with like, so what's next? What are you creating? Who are you creating in the next phase of your life? So five minutes of fun are just enough to send your blood pumping around your body, to get you breathing more deeply, and this is a way that your body communicates with every single cell in your body. It changes you on a molecular structure, it changes you on a cellular structure, it changes every single thing about your body. It allows your body to release nitric oxide throughout your body, which has massive, massive consequences. It enables neurotransmitters to be turned on, which then go on to sort of release great hormones that really help relieve and um, help your body in so many different ways. It re they release stress, they release um, the prolactin, which helps you feel more connected to other people. Just some amazing, amazing sort of like chemical reactions go on in the body by just choosing what we feel in any particular moment. And it's just like, okay, I, I'm, I choose to feel happy. It's like, go and do something happy, kind of like jump around a little bit or listen to some music, do something fun. One of the things I've noticed is whenever I speak to ladies and I say, oh, come on, give me three things that you do for fun, because normally I can feel whether they're taking life too seriously or if they're in survival mode. And if they're missing a lot of fun in their life because they're just they're working too bloody hard, to be perfectly honest, or they're not in relationships that they want to be in, or something's kind of like pooping on their doorstep or something's going on that's really not working out for them, their relationships. I mean, I just kind of like you're bored, you're fucked off and you're not in the relationship that you wanted to be in when you created your life years ago in your head as a child is like, oh, when I'm 20, I'm going to be a mum or, you know, I'm going to be in a big white wedding, whatever it is that you've put into your mind that you've set yourself as this kind of like, this is the ide idealistic life. So who is it that you are creating in the next phase of your life? If you do something on purpose, it's to like be able, be able to release this kind of nitrous oxide, the prolactin, all the good hormones that can really shape you and also kind of like mastering your mindset and really getting you very connected with who you are. Um, when you come to create yourself on purpose, there's something that I do. So like play with me just for a minute. This is fun, I promise. So I want you to remember the most fun experience that you can remember having um, and just go into it and just kind of go, OK, so I was wearing that. I was doing this. I was with that person. Um, this is the feeling I had in my body. And how do you hold your body in that moment? Like what, what rises up through your body? And I can guarantee that you'll be able to get back into even one experience. And on the other end of the scale, what does is, what is misery feel like? What is um, working hard, surviving, or just <laughs> hours and hours and hours of work? What does that feel like? It's on the opposite scale of what we're looking for, but it's just how do you hold that in your body? How do you feel in your body? I've got a free ebook that um, explains and goes through this process in much more detail. So I'll put this at the end of the link. In our society, we don't celebrate celebration. It, it's, it's, it's only something that's sort of in certain communities that we um, we force ourselves to kind of like, okay, let's celebrate that. Let's just, let's just, let's just feel happy about that. There's more emphasis put on drama. There's more emphasis put on bad news. Um, you know, what's in the news every single day is drama. 
and um, it just it's just so normal for us to sort of be spreading bad news and bad stories. Bad news, by the way, travels far faster and far further than good news. I used to subscribe to um, a newspaper called the Good Newspaper, and I can't find it again. But it was it was just great. It was about stuff all over the globe, all over the planet of good things that people were doing. So this is something that really needs to be kind of like started again because there's just too much crappy, boring, political <laughs> nonsense out there. We really need to start a newspaper, like a good newspaper. Bad news travels faster and further than anything else. Now, if you're wanting to create yourself in the next phase of your life, you really need to know, you know, what, what is it that you want? Where does it come from? What does it feel like? What does it look like? I bet that when you're at 90 years old, like you're on, you're in your rocking chair and you kind of, and I ask you, give me some significant moments that were passed in your life. You know, what happened in your life that was significant? You're not going to tell me I worked really, really hard. I missed my children growing up. I um, fell out with my family. Um, I kind of, yeah, I just, I just worked and, you know, went home to <laughs> slept at the end of the day, the weekend, because I was so tired. I was working all the time. Oh, I bet you, I guarantee that's not what you're going to be talking about. You're going to be wanting to tell me how you played on the floor with your kids, how you were the woman, um, for God's sake, on the Harley Davidson in your 50s and 60s, or that you were on the top of the speakers in the nightclub, just having a furiously good time. Those are the kind of things you want to be creating, or the real fun stuff, the adventures, the fun that your soul wants you to have in that you're going down the kiddies' inflatable slide on the, <laughs> in the playground when you're not allowed to in the pouring rain, and you just get up and you do it again, and you get up and you do it again, and you can't stop yourself laughing. Those are the moments you're going to want to tell me about when you've had no regrets, when you've not compromised, compromised yourself and when you're just you're having such incredible fun. Have you any idea the amount of good hormones and the good nitric oxide and the good stuff that you're putting around your body that has huge physical consequences of really helping your health? Big time. <laughs> Every woman every man and every child is able to create the life that they want. But first, you don't just need to know what you want. You really need to know what your soul wants. And that's a feeling. So it's not coming from I want more money. It's not coming from I want more things. It's not coming from I want more luxury, the items that are being sold on the TV, the bigger car, the bigger house. Those are things that are really kind of talking to your ego. The things that your soul wants is a feeling. It's that feeling of adventure. It's that riding the horse really, really fast. Or it's just being with the love of your life and you just feel so satisfied. It's when you feel so fulfilled or so excited and you're just having the time of your life. Did you know that you are on this planet to create? You can create anything you want in your life and that means where you want to live. Did you up sticks like me and go and live in France because it just seemed like a damn good idea? Did you decide to have kids in your 40s? Did you decide to break up with that guy because he was boring and, and go and do something else? What, what is it that you want? What feels better for you than anything else? Feeling fulfilled deeply, deeply satisfied is far more exhilarating than working hard. I know that work is part of our society and it's part of what we believe we, we have to do. But you have to understand that there are huge physical consequences when we forget to have those elements of fun. Those are missing nutrients that really no one else is talking about. When your soul feels rejected because you're not having any fun or you're not feeding her those kind of missing nutrients, um, you know, she feels betrayed and unheard and kind of ignored. You know, even though society is telling you you're doing a good job, you're being a good wife, you're being a good mother, good sister, good friend, and all those other kind of roles that we play. But ultimately, your whole body, your whole soul will be telling you, 
empty. I'm missing something. I'm missing so much. Even if you've been to the best restaurant in town and you've had the best meal, you'll you'll still know there's something missing. You're kind of still running on empty. Your stomach will feel acidic. You might be slightly bloated and you're just going like, you'll just hear and be more aware of your body that you're feeling really lacking. Just, just not very satisfying at all. What happens when a woman is starving? When she's starving of these missing nutrients? She's going to reach for the pills. She's going to reach for the antidepressants. She's going to reach for the painkillers. She's going to reach for the, um, the things that make it all go away and make her feel happier. She's going to reach for junk food. She's going to reach for alcohol. She's going to reach for cigarettes. And ultimately, what she's going to end up doing as well, because she's feeling overwhelmed and low self-esteem and ignored and lonely and despair, She's going to work herself into the ground. She's going to go out shopping for all sorts of things that promise to fulfil her, but really those are really not fulfilling. There is, there's a worse side to that as well, if I want to go a little bit deeper. Like the physical consequences also end up not in only sort of like deep depression, but they end up with um, illnesses and diseases like heart disease, breast cancer, and colon cancer, those kind of things. Those are the kind of things that, that manifest. These are the physical consequences that manifest when we don't take care of our own missing nutrients, these other needs that our soul needs. So what's next? What's next for you? Um, in the next phase of your life, are you prepared to feel so strong and so sure of yourself that no one's opinion or no one's rejection or no one's bad behavior will send you running downhill, but you'll be able to stand there feeling so flipping awesome, like you feel such good fun, nobody can rock you or knock you off your happy place. You're not compromising yourself, you know exactly what you want and you're going to go for it. You're putting yourself first, second and third. This is a woman who is reinventing herself. She wants to feel absolutely priceless. Priceless is the feeling that you have, that no amount of money will get you to do something that feels crappy. No amount of money. Nobody could like pay you to go there because you know that that is just going to feel so crappy in your body. You're just going to want to vomit. It just makes you feel horrible. You don't want to be in that place. You don't want to go there. Your body just goes, I'm not going. I just absolutely do not want to go. <laughs> that's when you are so sure of yourself and you're taking care of yourself that's when you become really really strong and you're connected to your soul and everything starts working out really really well for you because you can only create from the state that you are actually in deeply satisfied very very fulfilled and very strong will create a completely different world with all the nitrous oxide and all the prolactin and all these happy, happy hormones that will make a huge physical consequence on your body. I've seen women lose so much weight because they are able to sort of take care of themselves to this scale. So prepare to let your soul in so that you can look and feel radiant for absolutely no other reason other than that it just feels good. That's what we're on about. That's what's next and that's what's possible. There is so much more possible for you. And because I'm Fiona and I'm the body whisperer and I've done it and I've watched people do it, I know that potentially you could be missing out on a whole new experience. I'm Fiona Robertson. I will be back again next Monday talking to you about what's next for you. Who do you want to create in this next phase of your life? Big beautiful kiss. Go out and do something fun. Go out and do something crazy so that you can actually start releasing all those hormones in your body. Lots and lots and lots of love. Bye-bye.